Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. I have today in my shop 2015 Toyota Prius V with only 101,000 miles on the odometer. These are incredibly practical hybrid vehicles. It has that very large trunk. You can see the body line so there's a lot of space inside and that's why you basically never see them for sale at least not around here in northern california some people will fold their seats down look this is ginormous space and it's a extremely fuel economical hybrid vehicle when the owner brought the vehicle today dropped it off, we had a little chat about the life and then we talk about the vehicle and I said, well, you have check engine light, I hope it's not a misfire on number one and you will be hopefully not dealing with your head gasket, which is very famous for this generation of Priuses. And he said, well, actually I don't think so. Uh, we recently forgot the gas cap, the gas cap, we forgot to tie it, it was just sitting there and I'm assuming this will be the reason for the check engine light. But I don't know, uh, it's already, that happened a couple of days ago, let's say one week ago and we were driving it and the light is still on, so I don't know, maybe it's something else. I said thank you for telling me that really great customer of mine so i said hey if it will confirm if it's related to evap the scan will be super easy and if it's related to the gas cap i will charge you just half hour because you are telling me basically what happened and if it's related we will consider it and you will pay less and look we have perfect opportunity right now, basically, to see what happens on 2015 Prius if you forget to close the gas cap and keep driving with it for a while. So we have P055. It's a first coat out of two. And it's an evaporative emission system, or we can say short for EVAP leak detected and it was gross leak no flow now i will scroll and look at the other code and it's a p0441 evaporative emission system incorrect purge flow and that to me my friend clearly says it's connected to the gas cap this is what happened they already corrected the condition he clearly told me they forgot I will check it obviously it was tight so it's not a broken ratchet it's not a broken seal he told me they forgot to torque it for some reason I don't know if they forgot it hanging here and drove away or what happened I'm testing the ratcheting system and when I try to undo it really I can feel it's tight so there's no reason to replace this and there is no reason to do any other diagnosis and repairs because he said hey that's what happened we have the codes and I can clearly delete these erase them and I will be done it will be not happening again so as I said I can go ahead erase it erase was successful we have no codes, obviously, and when I will restart the vehicle, there will be no check engine light in the dashboard. As I said, these are incredible vehicles. I will buy one without a single moment of hesitation if it was for the right price. Besides that head gasket, which obviously it's a problem for the owners when it comes. It's expensive, it's a thousands of dollars to repair that correctly. But besides that, these Priuses 
in my experience, what I see, they are basically bulletproof. They just keep running. The maintenance is absolutely minimal. It's actually good looking. In my opinion, it still has that reasonable design. Some previous after this looked crazy, but this I will have no problem driving around. I like it. What do you think? So I'm very happy I was able to do this quick short video for you. When you have these codes, you will look it up in our video library, Toyota Maintenance. You can immediately see that most likely somebody forgot close that fuel cap, the gas cap, or somebody let it hanging there and that will be the cause for these two coats. If you like the video, please give it a thumb up. Make sure you are subscribed and you have that notification button so you, you know when I make another video. And yeah, I will catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend.